Facebook failed to rate limit pins on its beta site, something that was used in the password reset process. And one can imagine how that could possibly be abused. What exactly happened here, Ian? Oh, well, I mean, this was a very good security researcher who found what looks just to be a, a monstrously stupid flaw uh, in the beta site for Facebook. Now, as you say, as you say, there was a if you're on the main Facebook site and you try and guess the, the password of an account too many times, you get locked out. Now, that's a standard security measure for across the industry for stopping what we call brute force attacks. But in the beta version of that site, somebody had forgotten to add that section in. So you could just chuck passwords at it willy nilly. And given the poor state of most people's passwords, you'd probably be able to reset something fairly quickly. Hmm. Now, um, Facebook did have actually fixed this, and they paid the guy 15000 under their bug bounty program, which is a big payout for Facebook. So it was obviously a serious issue. But the fact that, you know, their developers didn't actually think to slip this one in does did, did leave us a little bit shocked on this. It, it's a fairly rookie mistake. But, you know, to, to Facebook's credit, they, they there was an impressive timeline. Like, you know, he reported it, they fixed it the next day, they paid him the next day. You know, it was it was in some ways the way the system's supposed to work. Oh, yes, totally. I mean, it was a complete vindication of the bug bounty system as it stands. But, you know, both in, in terms of Facebook, A, getting it so quickly and getting money to the developer, but also in the, in the fact that developers are now coming to these companies. I mean, you, I can remember 15 years ago, if you tried this with a company, chances are you get a legal letter accusing you of hacking and have to f have to hire your own lawyer to deal with it. With the advent of bug bounties like Facebook's and others, um, d developers are now able to make a pretty good living doing what they, you know, finding bugs, reporting to the companies, getting them fixed, and everybody wins. Because $15,000 is nothing to Facebook compared to the embarrassment of, and bad PR and loss of customer support if this had actually gone mainstream. The developer gets money, that's fine, the site is safer, everyone wins. And yet some companies are still holding out against bug bounties, which is really quite annoying. It is. And I mean, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, when we're talking about the robots taking our job, like that that's a good career path to have. You know, there still has to be the person to make sure everybody has done everything correct, I guess. I thought you were thinking like uh, white hat hacking robots. That just go I'm around. I'm sure those and, exist too. Yeah, that's but, true. Uh, we have code checker robots, basically, yeah. but... Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Yeah. But, there, but there's going to be mistakes, and that, you know, I think that's a good job to have. Mm -hmm. a well, white this is it. I, I mean, I interviewed the um, the head of Hacker One program, which is an independent bug bounty program, and I did ask him, you know, AI was a big theme of the conference. Are you ever concerned that an AI engine will put, an AI engine will put you out of business? And he was like, well, quite frankly, no, until the robots are writing the code themselves, and even then you're going to have to want a human checking it at some point. But, you know, as long as humans are in, involved in the software process, not only in writing the code, but also in integrating the code and putting various sections together and putting runtimes through, then there are always going to be mistakes. And bug bounties just make simple sense. They allow developers, they allow researchers to make a living out of it. They make the company safer. And, you know, as I say, it's, it's one of those things that is so blindingly obvious, and yet some people are still fighting against it. It's just human nature, I guess. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to willingly open yourself up to that, too. I think when you're a company, you know, and be like, "Yes, we invite you to find our insecurities." You know, oh, uh, even the Pentagon's doing it now. Yeah. They've they've just announced this white hack hacker thing where they're going to let hackers loose on some you know non-sensitive systems, and that's an enormous step forward. Yeah, I mean, as I say, this is this is the kind of thing that got you in an orange jumpsuit very very quickly if you tried that on Pentagon systems in the past. Sure.